you know, despite that one crash, which I'm pretty sure that crash happened even when I played it a long time ago on... God, it must have been on XP. So I don't think that crash is actually specific to me playing it now. I think it happened even a long time ago. So the, ver the fact that that crash isn't special to my installation and no other crashes have happened is actually damn surprising. Given that it's a game meant for Windows 95 and 98, and I'm using Windows 7 64-bit. I mean, it's not just much newer, but it's a totally different architecture. So I'm kind of amazed it works at all. I mean, I'm not even running it in compatibility mode, and there's no patches, there's no, you know, like, fan treatments to make it work on newer computers. It just somehow works. Wait a minute, there's a... Oh, shit, there's a zombie in here. Okay. He's communicating with me. And... Okay. Yes, fall down, please. Good. Let's do this quick. Uh, use game's chest with this... Bingo! Check this game. Magnetic. Ooh! Magnetic. Obviously, obviously that's used to solve some puzzle, but I don't know what. And there's also some Dillinger ammo, whatever the hell that is. Probably a pistol. That I don't have yet. A checker. Highly magnetic. Hmm, I can't think of anything I need to magnetize or anything like that. Yeah, I really can't think of anything yet. Okay, well I didn't know you can actually knock them down and they stay down. Maybe there's like a random- oh, yep. Maybe there's like a random chance that they'll get knocked down. So maybe I will try to open that drawer. In fact, I definitely will. Well, let's go do it. Even though I keep trying to use the map to get my situational awareness, I'm still not really sure where I am. But I think I'm heading in the right direction. Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on, I just passed a bunch of doors, and some of them might require a green card. I should check these things before all of the zombies start waking up. Wait, did I just pass a bunch of doors, or not? This is the one I just opened, right? Never mind. I passed no doors. Whoops. <laughs> you can tell I'm highly perceptive. I'm so perceptive that I see things that aren't there. This one, maybe? Looks like the lock mechanism has been heat-fused. Well, that's not gonna open with a green card. I believe this is zombie through here. Maybe not. I thought it was you that woke up. Yellow tag required. Okay, yellow tag required. I'm on Boulevard St. Michelle or whatever. So provided I can get there, there should be a place that requires a green co- Oh, God. Oh, why the hell did you turn around? Uh, bye? You yeah, fuck this, I'm out of here, man. I don't want to eat that bitch. I'm gonna go play some video games. Are, are you serious? Did that zombie just walk away from me? I thought maybe it was a momentary pathfinding issue, but it appears to have seriously just said, fuck this, I'm going away. Oh, now he cares about me. Okay, well, before I go down there looking for the green door, let me try this drawer. Alright, I don't want to be in a closed room with a zombie, but here we go. Can they come out? Can they come out of rooms? I don't think they can. Nah. <laughs> I haven't quite gotten inside the room enough to trigger the, uh, I'm in the room thing, which triggers the AI to recognize me. I guess this pathfinding still can't reach me. What about here? Okay. And go! Uh, you, you, shit. 
use drawer with. Okay. <laughs> it worked, I think. Nice desk. Nope. Shame about the lock. Oh, she's even respectful of the fact nice that I'm- Nice desk. Shame about the lock. I'm hearing some- okay. She's like, nice oh yeah, this desk. person's talking. Shame I shouldn't attack the lock. That would be rude. Nice desk. Shame about the lock. Nice desk. Shame about the lock. <laughs> oh my god. Nice desk. Shame about the lock. Nice desk. Shame about the lock. Okay, so that doesn't open it. Nice so desk. I have Shame no idea what it the opens lock. then. Alright, see ya. Alright, one of these should require a green card. <clears throat> I think it's this one. Green tag required. Mm-hmm. Right color, wrong dorm. Wait, what? Right color, wrong dorm. I guess I guess the green card only opens ones that are just pure green and don't have a number on them? Because this one just is pure green, right? Yeah. Well, shit, in that case, they only open three doors. Okay, so I've already opened... Where am I? There, okay. So, yep, yep, yep. How many green doors have I opened? I think I've only opened two. And I believe I've opened both of the ones on that straightaway along... State Street? So, do I need to open the one on Sunset Boulevard? Can I get there? How do I even get to Sunset Boulevard? Okay, well, I need to go back around. Alright, what's through here again? Is this Rainbow? Rainbow yep. tag required. I think these are all bulkheaded. That's my airlock. I believe this is the bulkhead. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love that smooth transition. Wait, I think I'm supposed to go the other way. Cool, he's still sleeping. Yeah, this game's pretty creepy, but it definitely, now that I've played it a bit, it's definitely not as scary as I remember it being, which isn't surprising. Because, you know, when you play a game or watch a scary movie or whatever when you're like 13, and then you experience it again when you're an adult, it's never as scary, is it? Yellow tag required. Alright, let me see if I can find that green door on Sunset Boulevard. Let me just confirm where I am. This is the Broadway hatch. You know what sucks is I can't stop playing this just when I want. I can only stop when I get to a save point, which may be like an hour apart. That blows. Wait, this is, wait, this is Sunset Boulevard, right? Oh, never mind. Broadway. Whoops. Shit, this is Broadway? I want to be on State Street. I barely know where I am on that map. Looks like... Nope. No keycard. Need to, like, cut it open or something. Let me just go around until I find a door or something that signifies where I am. There's really, there's really not that many places I can go at the moment. So it shouldn't be too hard to feel out where I need to go. Alright, I know where that is. That's the gym place. Wait, what? Green tag required. Oh, this... I haven't been in here? Okay, this must be the place I need to go into. Okay, what's in here? Oh. It's a dingy, dirty bathroom. 
Yeah, they really did a good job with the art. At least the, the background art. Looks disgusting. The washroom. It smells of something. And it isn't roses. <laughs> Let me guess. Shit. The hell is that item by that zombie? Not the door I wanted to open. I thought that was to open the stall. Vibro Scour... Scourer. Vibro Scourer. Okay, so I guess it scours stuff using vibrations? Uh, what would I need to clean? I don't know, but I'm not taking it yet because that's probably going to activate the zombies. Isn't it kind of sad when you can practically see through the game's inner workings and see the scripts activating zombies? That really hurts the horror, but I can't unsee it. I mean, it's pretty obvious that as soon as I pick it up, it's probably going to wake up. Apparently I can use the sunbed with something. Can I use it with myself and get a sweet tan? Not my scene. Alright, what can I tan? Let's tan my booklet. Nope. Hmm. There's another body here. The name badge reads Jameson. Jameson. The name badge reads Jameson. I think I know, I think I remember what I need to do with this body, and I don't think I can do it yet, so I think I can safely ignore it. Shower lockers. A lot of storage space here. They actually kind of look like those morgue slabs. Ugh. Oh, damn! Damn, jackpot! Notes and clothes and multiple tags. I'll take it all, thank you. Wait, am I... Am I gonna reach an item limit? Damn, okay, I have limited items. Um... Well, I can't tell when I'm gonna need this stuff. Hmm. Well, I don't need the notes after I read them, right? Yeah, like the Bible. I don't need the Bible anymore. And the star fell blazing. Yeah, I already wrote down the one word that might have been a password, Wormwood. So I'm just going to put the Bible in there. Do I have another note? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm in the mood. Park Lane. I've already got Park... Wait, no, I don't have Park Lane written down. Hold on. I'm in the mood. Gonna make sure I have all the details here so I don't need to go back. Okay, that should do it. Let's put that away. Take this. Um, can I put on these clothes? Surely the clothes are useless. I mean, why would I need them? I don't know. Well, I don't need the inventory space, so I might as well keep it. Alright, that'll take me to Dorm 2, which I was just trying to open. And let's read this note. Power Core Request. <clears throat> Formal request to Haraway. Or Haraway, I still don't remember how to pronounce it. Urgently require new receptor panels for the Power Core overhead generator. Please ensure that next shipment from Earth came, um, carries these requested items. From Colin Jameson, Power Core Maintenance. Okay, so the person, the dead zombie person, is Colin Jameson. Is responsible for Power Core Maintenance. Oh, oops. Hold on. Let me write that down so I don't have to carry this note with me. Um, Power Core Maintenance. 
I actually do like having to write down notes for games. I actually enjoy it. It's fun. Colin Jameson. I'll even write down body in bathroom. And the bathroom is in bathroom in Sunset Boulevard. These are probably going to come in handy later. All right, now it's back to dorm room two, I guess. Yeah. And I think I even have an extra green tag because we've already opened up all three doors, I think. Yeah, all the other green places are numbered. I guess they give you an extra just in case you... I don't know, just to ensure you can get in every door. All right, let's grab the Vibro Scourer. Oh, hi. Ooh, oh. Purple tag, I love them tags. Passcode Arboretum. Alright. Arboretum. Well, I have a world of possibilities opening up before me. 3376. I think I'm going to need new paper soon. Alright, well, I don't need that anymore, so... Wait, I can't put it back on the body? Uh, oh, he can't pick it up because it doesn't have room. really want to put items that could potentially be useful in some bizarre place. Like, I want to put them in a bulkhead. So where's the nearest bulkhead? Is it out here? Or not a bulkhead, whatever they're called. Those are little storage containers. There's gotta be one nearby. Hold on, this shan't take but a second. Okay, maybe a minute. There we go. Yeah, let's put some stuff here. Alright, I don't believe I need this. I don't see what clothes could be for. They're probably just, you know, flavor, because it's a locker, so it should have clothes. Don't need that. I got, Yeah, I don't need her micro recorder. I don't think. I don't know what that booklet's to, so I might as well keep it. I don't believe I need the deflated Mars Hopper for quite a while, so I'm going to place that in the hatch. I think I remember what puzzle that's for. And that should be good. Alright, let's go back and get that Vibro Scour. Scourer. It's such a hard word to say. Scourer. 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 It's like rural. Rural. Fucking terrible word. Must have been created by masochists. Okay. Alright, search the body, right? Yep, nothing on it now. Take it, and it's probably gonna wake up, right? Well, hot damn, it actually didn't wake up. I'm amazed. Alright, what the hell can you do Some with this thing? Some sort of vibrating toilet bowl brush. If it can clean the washroom toilets, it'll clean anything. I don't think I found a use for that yet. Alright, so purple and dorm tag number two. Holy shit, purple's all the way down there. Oh, so that would be, uh, Kern? Karn? Whatever his name is? 
Alright, well, I don't want to switch just yet, so let me go to dorm number two. Man, it really fucking disturbs me to make be making all of this progress and not be able to save. Alright, I mean, I could save, but I'm pressured not to save because I only have one save left on that terminal. So it makes me really not want to save. But I really want to save so that I keep my progress. I, like, I'm not even... At this point, I'm not even worried about dying. I'm worried about crashing. But I'm probably going to be fine as long as I don't use that life sign thing. Uh, Wait, did I see something... behind me? No. Should be a zombie through here. Is this the green door? Yellow tag required. No, yellow tag. Okay, almost there, just around the corner. Oh, here we go, that's the one I knocked down. Oh, I believe it, yep, this one. This one, this one, go, 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 go! Oh, shit! Uh... Yeah, oh, fuck. I don't even have a weapon. Shit. Oh, good, I knocked it down. What the hell is that showing up? Is that the examined body? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess I'll just fend them off until they get knocked down. Alright, nothing in the back tube. Open the locker. Ooh, hello. God, I'm finding so much ammo, but no weapons. Weapons, please. Alright, so I guess the red light signifies a locker of some sort. Ooh, I think he's waking up. Can I take a shower? Take pumice stone. Okay. Don't know what the hell that's gonna be used for. Apparently by standing here I am immune to his pathfinding. Sounds like somebody's brewing coffee. Well, there's really not that much to take here. The only thing I've actually gotten from here is pumice stone. And what the hell am I going to do with that? And also... How come they're not attacking me? And how come they seem to be talking to me telepathically? Ugh. Is that it? Is that really the only thing I can do in here is take a freaking pumice stone? Did they just, like, completely get... Oh, nope, they didn't completely give up. Come on, fall down. There you go. Use vac tube? Yeah, that's, that's it. Just the pumice stone. Well, I, I mean, and the ammo, but, you know, that doesn't allow me to do anything new. Okay, well, I guess, uh, purple locker, or purple tag time. Hey, dude, what's up? Yeah, they're really not as scary as they used to be last time I played this. Definitely not. Now it's just to mash the keys and you're fine. But it still is a very creepy atmosphere. I'll give them that. Okay, this... This is not the right way. Mm, this way. Need to give the purple tag to... Karn? 
I swear, by the end of this game, I will know his name. I know there's Kenzo, and I know there's Matlock. It's either Karn or Kern. I think it's Karn. Watch, I'll be at the end of the game, and I'll be like... What was his name? Here we go. Purple tag. Zoop. And poor Matlock, with the only person with a gun, is still stuck in here. Store malfunction. Computer override required. Okay. Where, 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 where was that vac tube? I'm either going further, further away from it or closer. Ooh, I'm getting closer. <clears throat> All right, one of these doors requires a purple tag. I do not remember which. Wait a minute. Is this the Arb Arboretum? I have the passcode to that. Three, three, seven, six. It's not just the Damn. base air that stinks. The whole mission stinks. Lambs to the slaughter. The hell with that. I'm no lamb. All right, well, before... Hold on, let me find out where the Arboretum is. I just realized it's not even listed on here. Um... Um, I literally have no idea where I am on this map. I don't really want to go there first. I kind of want to use my purple tag. All right, is this tell me where I am? Park Lane. Park Lane. Oh, okay, yeah, it should be um, right here, this door. Purple tag required. There we go. What horrors await me in here? Ooh, this this looks like a study. Maybe this is where I'll use the study key. And I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Let's explore this room. Oh, of course. There's a zombie in here. And the zombie looks to have been reading a book. Hmm. Maybe they hated the book so much that they were bored to death. So yeah, this looks like the study. So I'm guessing the drawer is opened with the drawer key. Which I no longer have. But not a problem, I'm already at a vac tube. Just shove my key in the tube. And there's even a back thing in here, as if they were reading my thoughts. Bingo. Yep, it even says study. Ooh, blue tag. What will blue tag open? It can open any one of three doors can I get to any of them, though? Well, the only one I might even be able to access is the one right to the left of Broadway. The text that says Broadway. I think that would have to be... Kenzo, maybe? Or maybe that's for Matlock later. I don't know. Because I'm guessing Matlock is probably in the airlock below the red and blue dots. Right below Carnaby Street. I'm guessing that's where she is. I mean, it's either that one or the airlock even more to the left, below Times Square. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, that keycard is no use to me at the moment, because I can't even get Malloc out of her uh, little chamber. Much as I enjoy a good book, 
Reading doesn't seem much of a priority right now. What are you talking about? Now's the perfect time to read. Hmm. The zombie right next to this computer. Uh. Yep, looks like those are the only two things I can examine. Alright, let's do the computer first, zombie last. Yeah, let's do that. Well, at least, I will examine the body, at least. A dead man reading a book. I'd call that unusual. I don't think he ain't doing no reading no more. What? Wait a minute, you're telling me I can't even take the book? Well, okay, I thought I was going to get to read it, but apparently I can't. And the mystery of what the zombie was reading was never solved. Alright, so there's nothing else I can do but open up the computer. Ooh, another save point. Should I use it? Eh, eh, I don't know. Let's read the stuff first. Alright, so this is probably going to be the universal, yep, universal information. Don't need to read that again. Don't want to read that again, oh my god. Took like uh -oh. a half hour. They've put that Martian Mayhem video game on this computer. One of those action adventures full of useful objects with monsters standing in front of them. Ooh, the way you describe it makes it sound amazing. Well, I don't have any codes for these. Operation Akarak. Hmm. Right, let's take a look at local. Oh, damn. Got three recordings from Judith Haraway. Judith Haraway, Vita Project Director to Allenby, June the 18th, 2017. I made Planetfall this morning. Boltman seemed pretty eager to be relieved as Project Director. He said a year on Mars is at least 11 months too long for anyone. Good job these one-year contracts don't last for a Martian year, all 687 days of it. Anyway, all's well, Allenby. End report. Really, wow, thank you. It resets the interface. You have to go back to the right, back to local, and then down to the next recording. Very efficient computer system they have here. July the 2nd, 2017. Well, Allenby, it's happened. Breakthrough day. Just took weeks after I arrived. It's actually happened. I was at the mining site an hour ago when news of the discovery came up. And what news? Whatever hopes you had for the Vita project, we've surpassed them. Full information will be transmitted on a security alpha line within the hour. When you receive it, you'll not be able to believe what we've found here on Mars. But believe it, Allenby. Believe it. End report. October the 8th, 2017. Operation Akarak proceeding ahead of schedule three months after breakthrough day. The archaeological team has just made planetfall. When they saw the caverns, they couldn't believe their eyes. I've just heard that Earth Control has introduced the death penalty for a whole new set of offences, including treachery to the company. So your global corporation has gone global all the way, taken over the whole show. You've become the unofficial president of Earth, Allenby. Or have I just said the wrong thing? Have I committed verbal treachery to the company? End report. Well, holy shit, I could see why they'd be... why people would be concerned about Allenby having too much power. The death penalty? For treachery to the company or whatever the hell that was? That... that can't be legal. 
There's no way that's legal. That would have to be government sanctioned. A company can't kill people. Alright, let me see how many save... Eh. No, I don't want to save it yet. Alright, what happens if I play it, though? Like, do I get a different thing than I got on the last computer? I don't think so. No, it's probably the same. Alright, so what do I have? I have the blue tag, which I can't use. Okay, the only thing I can think of to do right now is to go to the... The Arboretum. Yeah, let's go. Oh shit, something just woke up. Time to leave. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Gotta leave like this. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> god, that did not work. That did not work as planned. Alright, where the hell is that Arboretum? Is it down here? Nope. Oh, wait, wait, no, I think this is it. Yeah, it is. Oh, thank you. I walk into a new place, and the first camera view they give me is one where I can't see anything in the new place. Brilliant! Good job, designers. Clap for you. Uh... I hear something walking. The Arboretum, the terrestrial and Martian hybrid plant experiments. This kind of makes me want to save it. Ugh. I just realized there's a dead body floating in the water. Wouldn't want to drink that. This place probably smells like shit. Oh, it seems we have a zombie having a nice lounge over here. Are you enjoying your day? What do you have? Oh, a note. Oh, whoa. Damn. Baby bug remote. What? I'm getting a lot of stuff that I haven't been able to use yet. It's weird. I think they maybe should have restrained themselves. And kind of like parceled out items so that you get them near when you actually need them rather than just giving you like everything. I mean, look at all the shit I have that I can't use. I've got, like, a magnetic thing, uh... I've got a toy gun. Bullets for guns I don't have. I mean, rounds for guns I don't have. Uh... A pumice stone? A scourer? I mean, what the hell's all that... What is all that for? Alright, baby bug remote. Electronic green tag marked four. That's a dorm tag. Green tag should open a few other doors beside the right kind of dorm. Wait, what? It opens a few other doors aside from the right kind of dorm? Wait, does that mean so, like, a, does that mean a dorm tag, like a green dorm tag, will open that specific dorm up plus anything marked green? Hmm. Not that it really matters anymore because I've already opened all of the green doors aside from the dorms. Anyway, suicide note. Thank God for the gun. I can blow out my brain before they get into it. Hmm. So long, Philip Carter. As for my worldly possessions, I leave them all to my ex-wife. The bitch will take them all anyway. Goodbye, cruel planet. Philip Carter. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad and also kind of funny. Wait a minute. Thank God for the gun. Where the hell did the gun go? If he just killed himself, then where's the gun? It should be right next to his body, right? Did I miss it? I found ammo. Alright, well, I don't need the suicide note anymore, so I guess I'm gonna ditch that next chance. Gun? Wait, what? Wait, there's another note? Uh... 
We call it the altar, not knowing what else to call it. What purpose it served at the ancient... Karak... Karak? Altar? Karakarak? A lot of mysteries here. What purpose it served the ancient Karakarak? Who knows? But for any object that denies its color, the altar comes to life. It's a pity that Sartan was standing on the altar when its old life returned for a bright, vivid moment. <laughs> Hmm. Sounds painful. Okay, so the altar comes to life for any object that denies its color? What in the hell does that mean? What is an object that denies its color? I don't even know what that means. Alright, well, where the hell's the gun? Hell, this man's cold as a Martian winter, and he's got his gun in a grip colder and tougher than steel. Uh, are you serious? The reason I can't take the gun out of his hands is because he's gripping it too tightly? Are you telling me you can't pry apart a dead man's fingers? Hell, this man's cold as a Martian winter, and he's got his gun in a grip colder and tougher than steel. Okay. Are you serious? Is this the game just stupidly... Did the game developers just say to themselves... We want to have a person who kills himself and has a suicide note, you know, as a little story thing. It fits into the universe, it makes sense. But, they also decided they didn't want the character to have a gun at this point in the game. And so they came up with a lame, stupid, nonsensical excuse to not give you that gun. Is that what they call having your cake and eating it, too? I've never really understood that term, but this sounds like it would apply. They wanted it both ways. Because it's not giving me the option to use an item on the body, so it sounds like I can't even, you know, get it out of his hand... ever. So... Okay. Great. That totally makes sense. I had a feeling you were going to get up. Oh. That's what happens. It's a scripted event. Piccolo. Well, now I finally get to actually use a gun. How many piccolo shots do I have? 48? 48? Do I actually have to go into here to reload? I do. Alright, it's got six shots. I believe I enter combat mode like this. <laughs> Look at them hips. Oh my god. Wow. Best animation ever. Walk away, you walk away too. See Are they are they actually walking away from me? What the fuck? What the hell is wrong with the pathfinding in this game? Okay, I believe it's right control to aim down. Yeah. What the What? Hold on, pressing right control aims the gun down and then pressing right control again shoots it? What? Okay, get out of combat mode. What the hell? Hold on, let me look at the controls here. Fire is enter when in combat mode. Space enters combat mode. Enter. Fires. Fire down is right control. But can't you just aim down and then press enter? No. What? <laughs> what? So right control doesn't just aim down, but right control is specifically to fire down. If you try to press enter after you've aimed down, it just aims up. 
This game has the worst controls. Alright, let me guess. R does not reload. Of course it doesn't. You have to exit combat mode and reload. Wow. Well, there's no reason to shoot any of these zombies at the moment. I mean, I could just shake them off if I even get close enough to them to need to do that. Take Lycan. What? Wait, is this like some Resident Evil stuff where I take herbs and combine them into a health potion? I don't even have room, though. I can't even take the Lycan. You know, the zombies actually sound strangely pleasant. You know, it's not like a horrible growl, it's like... It's like a... It's like the sound someone might make if they're... Sore and tired and they're slipping into a warm bath. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, yeah. It's nothing like a nice, warm, steaming bath and some candles and some pleasant piano music to play after a hard day of zombieing. Let's go for a walk. I'm going to take him for a walk. Come with me. Just kidding. I'm guessing that probably puts them down for just as long as shaking them off and having them fall does. Ooh, whoa, shit. You know, I didn't think that maybe taking down a zombie and searching its body would be required. Another blue tag, another piccolo, and a micro recorder. Damn it, I need somewhere to put my items. Alright, what the hell is this? Padlock. Doors back <clears> on. <throat> padlock. There must have been a serious case of paranoia around here. Strong padlock, but the chain's a little rusty. Hmm. Maybe it could be shot off? Nope. I mean, it has use padlock with as an option, so I'm guessing I can't just freehand shoot it. Hmm. I don't think I have anything that could pop possibly work. I don't think the Electro Scourer is going to open a lock. Strong padlock, but the chain's a little rusty. I don't know, what if I do try to shoot it? Alright, I guess not. Well, can I climb this thing? Nope. Or what does everyone else have, actually? Anything that could possibly be relevant? Pumice stone? I... No, I don't think that could possibly work. Nope. I don't see anything. At least nothing that makes intuitive sense. Okay, I remember something really bad being in here. But... What the hell? I probably need Looks to go like in there anyway. Stone died down out there. Hmm. Actually, it looks kind of pretty out there. I, I really need to dump my items, so let me go back here. I need to take a dump. Oh shit, something just awoke. Alright, let's dump these notes. What else do I not need? Well, I don't need the wrapper anytime soon. Don't think I'm going to need a pop gun anytime soon. 
I sure as fuck do not want the biosensor. And this letter I apparently can't read. Uh, what? Okay, this letter that I can't read, I also can't put in the hatch. Apparently it is tattooed on my person. That's a personal letter. Okay. What am I least likely to need? I'm guessing the silver bullet. But it is my lucky silver bullet, so if I get rid of it, am I going to experience bad luck? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, let's get rid of the baby bug remote. I don't think I need that anytime soon. Alright, let's pick up this stuff. Ooh! Since I have an extra piccolo, I can send it to uh, Kenzo. But this is his name, isn't it? God, now I'm even doubting his name. Is it Kenzo? I think it's Kenzo. Leaving ghosts, Matthew Tierney. At least, not until now. Alright, let me listen to that again just to make sure I wrote down the number correctly. Matthew two, Tierney, day log, August 8th, 20. Could be 2734 for the de decontamination override. While I'm registering the local decontam 3 override. 2734, two, yep. Alright, that's probably for a Matlock's door. I guess I'll take the... Okay, I'll take even more lichen. I'm liking it. Ha, 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 yeah. Well, shit. Lichen. Or maybe moss. Hmm, hell. Who cares? Did, did he just say lichen? Who the hell pronounces it lichen? Uh, lichen. Lichen. Or maybe moss. Hmm, hell. Who cares? It's lichen. Fuck you. No one pronounces it like that. A brown herb. Big deal. So, what the hell do I do with these? Well, apparently nothing at the moment, so I'm gonna sh promptly shove these in the nearest container I can find. Let's find out what's in here. I do remember there being something dangerous in here, but maybe maybe I have to come back here and there's nothing dangerous yet. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh shit. Yeah. There's something in Resac antechamber. It's big, it's mean, and you wouldn't want to share a beer with it. Know what I'm saying? He says standing right in front of it. Let's go now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going back there. Bye. Whew. Time to get the fuck out of here. Sup, dude? 
All right, you know, just keep attacking me until you go on the ground. Come on, you know you want to sleep. Go to sleep. There we go. Some peace and quiet. See, the evening sounds like you're just, you're like laying down a child to go to sleep. It's like, ah. Go to sleep, my son. My zombie son. Alright, let's take stock. I have a bunch of lichen <laughs> and some brown herb. Uh, micro recorder, which I don't need anymore, but that recorder gave me 2734 as the decontamination, uh, decontamination 3 override. Um, where can I use that? I think I can use that with Kenzo. Yeah. And I also have the green Dorm 4 card. Where's Dorm 4? Oh shit, Dorm 4 is over by Lonely Street. Uh, can I actually get there? That might be behind a bulkhead. I'm actually not sure if I can get there. Alright, well, I definitely need to let Matlock out of her cage. Well, let me try something. Let me go back to where I was going to save it, with, which I think is actually here, right? Wait, what the hell? I don't remember that being there. What? Oh, yeah, okay, now I do. That's right, you woke up. Let me see if I can use the code on this computer, and if not, I will simply save it. No, see, I think the other computer had that door control thing, right? Yeah, that must have it. I think, unless it's in here. I don't think the password's gonna open her personal file or whatever this is. Nope. Yeah, it's gotta be done from the other computer. Well, you know what? What the hell? Let's not save here. Let's save on the other computer. Let's do that first. So let's... Let me give uh, Kenzo the other gun. And I believe he's the one that needs... Yeah, he would need this, not me. And... Anything else? Um, no, that's good for now. Oh, wait, I didn't send it, did I? No, I did not. Go back to sleep. Come on. Definitely best to not waste ammo when you don't need to. Oh my god, how many times is it going to take? Jeez. Go to sleep. There you go. Alright. Okay, got a gun. Uh, wait, do I have ammo for this? Yes, I have 96. Okay, I feel better. I can remember my way back. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Wait. Oh, what the fuck? Wait a minute. Time goes, goes by when you leave characters? Holy shit, I thought it paused. I thought that was a proximity alert. Holy shit, is he okay? Damn. So you can't leave characters in an unsafe place, holy shit. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave. 
And this is unsafe too, god damn it. Where the hell is safe? Holy shit, I need to find a safe room. This isn't safe, is it? No. Is it still coming? I don't hear anything. I think I'm safe. Whew. Yeah, I thought that was a proximity alert. Telling me that I was getting too close to one of them, but... Nope. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. happens if you try to shoot him? Let's test that after I save it. Alright, is she awake? You know what, I'm just gonna shoot you. What if you aim down? What does this do? Shit! It does nothing. Apparently? Or am I just aiming wrong? I don't know, fuck it. Fuck it, I think I'm just aiming wrong. I think I was aiming in the wrong spot. Alright, well, we've already gone down, down this road enough, so go to sleep. I saw at least two blood squirts out of his neck, but apparently he's fine? Okay. Whatever you say. Ah, door control. Has been passcode locked, unlock, yes. Uh, two, seven, three, four. Your door should be opening now, Matlock. See you soon. Matlock, it's pretty dangerous out here. I think you better lock yourself in a jar until this is all over. Okay, Carl. I'll lock myself in the toilet if you come out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was actually really good. My god, an actual clever bit of dialogue in this game. Amazing! Watch, there'll be one more line towards the end of the game, and that's it. Those two lines must have exhausted their writer's mental capacity. Okay, that's mean. I'm, I'm being too... mean. It's not that bad. The writing isn't that bad. Alright, let's... Hmm... You know what? I want to spread the saves out. Like I could save on this computer. But I kind of want to leave a save open on each computer just in case I need it later. I'm probably going to regret it, but you know what? Fuck it. Nah. I'm just going to save. Yeah, actually I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. And then I'm going to do two things. I'm about to end the episode, but I want to test two things out now that I've just saved. I'm going to see what happens when I shoot this dude. Did that actually work? Okay, let me try kneecapping him and see what that does. It truly does nothing. It's as if they don't have knees. Okay, so yeah, apparently shooting him allows you to uh, progress there, so I'm going to do that again next time I load. That's one of the two things I'm going to test. The other thing is this. The hold of this thing in the Martian Mayhem. I am going to actually hold that and see what the hell happens. Now that I've saved it, it doesn't matter if it makes the game explode. Okay. Control. Delete. Caps lock. Q, uh, right bracket, and question mark. Ball. 
It did nothing. Yep, it did totally nothing. I was lied to. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, yeah, so far it's... I'm enjoying myself. I mean, it's very, very flawed. Oh my god, is it flawed. And it's definitely not as scary as I remember it, but it's still atmospheric. I still like the backgrounds. It's creepy, I like the setting, and I love the fact that it's sci-fi horror. So, I hope you're enjoying too, and I will be back soon.